think there is so many potential Lego Star Wars sets out of the Ahsoka series for next year in 2024, and obviously... Hold up. There are? You see, personally, I didn't really see much potential for a lot of sets out of the Ahsoka show. The series finale just aired, and I gotta say, there's not really much that LEGO can pull out of the series, I think. And when I say much they can pull out, I mean much they will pull out. We got the Ghost, Ahsoka Shuttle, and the E-Wing vs. Shin Haiti Starfighter. And I think that's pretty dang near everything that LEGO is going to pull out of this first season of Ahsoka. I think it's just a general rule of thumb that whenever a new Star Wars media project comes out, you can expect ships and vehicles as opposed to diorama type scene sets because unless the scene that the set is going to be based on is crucial to the show, like with Boba Fett's throne room, it's much safer to make ships on a new untested um, Star Wars project. And Ahsoka is not a very ship heavy show. We've already got the Ghost, the Shuttle, and Shin Hades versus Ewing. And honestly, the T6 Shuttle is really the only prominent ship in the show. The Ghost isn't even that prominent much less the New Republic E-Wing. The only other ships that I can see as viable options for sets from the show are a Thrawn Star Destroyer, a Imperial Patrol gunship, and if we really wanna give it a stretch, then maybe Balin Skull's Jedi Shuttle. I guess that what I'm trying to get at here is that there are lots of set ideas out there, like an obelisk duel at the top of that tower. You know, that's a prominent scene that I could see being made by LEGO, but for the most part, there isn't really anything that LEGO is going to turn into a set. We can come up with tons of ideas, a, a rock people village, a, a, a Mon Calamari cruiser, but none of these are very likely. I think that really the only ones that we can count on are a Re Imperial Patrol gunship and... That's kind of about it. I I think that a Thrawn Star Destroyer is honestly up in the air. This show was just far more focused on the story rather than selling merchandise, which I so greatly appreciate because Star Wars really needed that right now. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, that probably means that you enjoyed it, which means that you should check out some of this other content on the end screen now because it's very similar to this format that I have, and you'll probably enjoy that too.